Welcome to Ascent. I'd like to tell you today about photochemistry and one of the exciting new products we have at Ascent, a parallel photoreactor designed in conjunction with our customers. Let's tell you all about it. But let's first of all start at a product we've had for some time now. This is the Opto. It's a eight position parallel reactor and it sits quite simply on top of a standard hot plate stirrer. Very, very simple to use. We have a uh, inert atmosphere a sealed head that seals on all eight tubes, septums for each position, so you can make additions, take samples under inert atmosphere. We use standard low cost tubes, standard septums, low cost septums. And it's very easy to set up and get started. Magnetic stirring in eight positions on the standard hot plate stirrer. And with these longer tubes refluxing by air cooling. So that's a great little product. But let me show you where this leads on to. To enable customers to work with standard syringe needles and be able to get samples right from the bottom of the tube, we've made a shorter version. It's exactly the same product but with a shorter rod. Or you could just swap the rods, so they're very, very easy to adapt between the two. And then this gave our customers some ideas. How could we do photochemistry in parallel? How could we screen photochemical experiments in an octo? Could that be possible? And uh, I thought hey, that makes sense. The customers in question really love using the Octo as it is for screening regular chemistry. So let's get to work and let's see what they think. And we made the Illuminate. Let me show you the next part. So with the Illuminate, we still have an Octo reactor, but here it's slightly different. The same sealed a reactor top, so you've got inert atmosphere, the ability to take samples, make additions, the shortened tubes. But here we have the block itself is cut away in the sides. So you can have good temperature control still through the tubes, but the sides are open. And the reason for that is because we shine a light from outside in. So of course, no good on here. Let's get the light unit out and show you how it all goes together. Here we have the Illuminate light module. It's a completely self-contained unit, separate power supply with a simple on and off switch here. And inside the unit, we have eight LEDs, each one a 10 watt rating, and they're designed to emit very intense light, close as possible, to the tubes of the Octo itself. Sits again on a standard hot plate stirrer. We have a heat and temperature shield so you can heat the Octo to 80 degrees centigrade without any issue to the electronics. There is a cooling fan which is built in here and this has an option on this side to cool the tubes and the electronics or just the electronics only. Quite simply, if we turn it on, you'll see no, you can hear the fan running, but there's no light being emitted. And that won't happen until we've got the Octo securely in place. And now the light has come on. Uh, there's no light leaking. There's a small window at the front here, which with a filter on it, so you can safely see it's in operation, but without any harmful high intensity, narrow beam uh, photons escaping. So we have some standard wavelengths for Illuminate. The most popular and normally in stock are 365 nanometers and 450 nanometers. But we have a range of other colors available to order. 
and uh, I'll put a list above so you can see that and also in the description below so you can find out more. The light cartridge itself with the eight LEDs is user interchangeable. You just need a simple Allen key to rem remove four screws from the bottom there and then four more underneath, very easy to do. And it's a plug and play to swap them over. So user interchangeable light source. You don't have to buy a whole complete system. You just swap the light sources to the color you wavelength you need. And there's a video above. Take a look above uh, how to do that if you're interested further. One of the things with high intensity photochemistry, even with LEDs, is they do generate a reasonable amount of heat, which we take away with the electronics. But the photons themselves hitting the tubes, there's probably near 40 watts of photon energy going into the reactor block, which is quite small. It's also the warmth of the magnetic drive that's going to gradually warm up. So getting something at precisely room temperature consistently is not very easy. In fact, it's not that easy with any hot plate stirrer because they do warm up over time just stirring. So what really is a stable temperature? But we have a way of dealing with that and making sure your photochemical reactions are what they should be. So we have this optional extra. It's a cooling base or heating and cooling base it can fit to any circulating heating cooling circulator we recommend down to around minus 30 degrees centigrade as a minimum and up to 80 degrees centigrade as a maximum it's designed where the heat or cooling is only actively put into the octo itself within the light unit now, we do have a temperature probe port on the Illuminate. Um, this can go directly into the hot plate stirrer, as here, or a PT100 probe to your circulator. Other alternative is to control solution temperature by using one of the tubes and going through the septum. But with this, you certainly can precisely control solution temperature. How do you fit it? Well, it's quite straightforward. It just sits underneath the Illuminate. Only raises it a little bit, so you're still getting good matting stirring. You've now got really accurate temperature control. So if you want to guarantee exactly 20 degrees centigrade, you can do that. If you want to run at minus 10 degrees centigrade, you can do that. So let's just finish off with what Illuminate offers. A multitude of colors available with the popular colors such as 450, 365 nanometers. Parallel reactions, so eight reactions at a time. Six milliliter per, per reactor tube, so quite a decent volume there. Very much high power directly at each tube, so 10 watts aimed at each of the reactor tubes. The ability to Control precisely solution temperature, if you wish, using the op optional heating cooling module. Inert atmosphere, so photochemistry that's air sensitive, is quite safe to use within the device. So very simple to use, very robust and compact photo system for your laboratory. Parallel screening and photochemistry. And, uh, well, let us know what you think. Comments below. Drop us a line to our sales team if you want to find out more or have a demonstration live from our demo suite here or face to face in your laboratory. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you very soon at a scene. Thank you. Bye bye.